welcome to the channel. I am Commander Tyrael. This month marks the 80th anniversary of the start of the Guadalcanal campaign, which was fought between August 7, 1942 and February 9, 1943 in the Pacific Theatre. This campaign was one of the bloodiest of the war and is considered by some to be one of the most strategically important campaigns of World War II. It was fought on the ground, at sea, and in the air between Allied forces and Imperial Japanese forces. The fighting took place on and around the island of Guadalcanal in the southern Solomon Islands and was one of the first major offensive launched by the Allied forces against the Empire of Japan. The initial goals of Japanese leaders were to destroy the US Navy, seize lands rich in natural resources, and establish strategic military bases to defend Japan's empire in the Pacific Ocean. To do this, Japanese forces captured the Philippines, Thailand, Malaya, Singapore, Burma and the Dutch East Indies, as well as many small islands. In June of 1942, the Japanese forces were establishing their third major base in the Solomon Islands at Guadalcanal. The Allies feared that the airfield at Guadalcanal would allow the Japanese to isolate Australia. Task Force Watchtower was assembled to meet this threat, with many troops fresh from military training and armed only with Springfield rifles and 10 days worth of ammunition. To get them into battle quickly, the Operation Planners had reduced their supplies to only 60 days. Many soldiers from the 1st Marine Division referring to the coming fight as Operation Shoestring. On August 7, US Marines captured the airbase at Guadalcanal, naming it Henderson Field, and began a desperate battle to defend the base from Japanese forces that fled into the jungle and from very determined air attacks. Once the runway was completed, the Cactus Air Force took to the skies from Henderson Field to provide air cover for the island. Captain Joe Foss, whose unit took over the fight on October 9, became the battle's leading ace and the second one to earn the Medal of Honor. Foss flew into the annals of history in the Grumman F4F Wildcat. The single-engine workhorses of the early Pacific War had a range of about 250 miles and a top speed of 315 miles per hour. The pilot got the drop on the more maneuverable Japanese fighters by flying the rugged Wildcat with more skill and at higher speeds. The F4F pilots used their 50 caliber wing guns to decimate the Japanese. With the Wildcats contributing heavily to the Allied victory at Guadalcanal, the Japanese lost approximately 650 aircraft and many airmen between August and November 1942, mostly to F4Fs. By February 1943, the Japanese had fully retreated from the area. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from the annals of history, and I hope to see you again. Commander Tyrael, out.